Today's lesson is on probability. What are the chances? So what exactly is probability? Probability is the likelihood or the chance of something happening. Some of the important vocabulary we need to know, the words impossible, which means it will absolutely not happen, possible, meaning it could happen, or certain, meaning it absolutely will happen. So here are some examples. What is the probability that you will turn into a cat? Impossible. What's the probability that you will eat food today? It's possible, right? Most likely gonna happen, but you never know, that your heart will beat. That's certain, as long as you're alive, your heart will beat. The sun will rise, also certain. You will win a trip to Mexico today without entering a contest. That's pretty impossible. It's not going to happen. Now, there's also some vocabulary we need to know for when we're comparing two different possibilities. So, is something less likely to happen, equally likely, which means the chances are exactly the same, or more likely? So, some examples we can look at. What is the chance that you will flip a heads or a tails on a coin? It's equally likely. There's one head, one tail. In theory, the chances should be exactly equal. What's the probability that you'll draw a face card versus a number card and deck of cards? So remembering, there's just a jack, a queen, and a king for face cards, and there's ace to ten for the number cards. You're less likely to draw a face card. There's more number cards. You will pass your grade versus fail it. You're more likely to pass. You will get picked up in a helicopter for school versus riding the bus. You're less likely to get picked up by a helicopter than your school bus. So what are some probability tests that we can do? The first one you can do is roll a dice. If you roll your dice, how many times do you roll each number? Should you have an equal chance to roll each? In theory, yes. Your dice has one to six on it or one to 10 on it. You should have an equal chance of rolling each one, but do you? If you rolled it 10 times, would you roll each one the same number? Play rock, paper, scissors. How many times did you win? Flip a coin. How many times did you get head or tails? Draw a card and try to guess if your next one will be higher or lower than your last one. Or take a spin on a probability spinner. So this is an example of a prob probability spinner. If you look at this spinner, I've made it so that yellow is really, really, really big and all the others are small, which means that we should have a higher chance or it's more likely to spin yellow than the other colors. And then it's equally likely that you'd spin your blue, your purple, your red, and your cyan. But when I spun them 10 times, I got eight yellows, one blue, one purple, but no reds or cyans because probability is a guess or a chance of something happening, but it's not necessarily gonna happen when we do it. And then here we have five equal ones. So in theory, we should have an equal chance of getting all of them, but we did one blue, zero yellows, three cyans, five reds, and one purple. So half of my spins landed on red, even though in theory, we should have had an equal chance of getting all of them. But in this case, it was more likely that I got red for some reason. So, that's probability. That's a quick introduction that will hope you, hopefully help you do your assignments. Thanks for watching.